Hi guys, so I want to do an update video because I had a lot of questions and I want to let you know how things are still going. So the number one question was, how far does it go on a single charge? Well, I drove it around for 11 and a half miles today. I pedaled just a little bit while I was accelerating and I kept it around 20, 22 miles per hour. Not to go fall out, but you know, 20 miles an hour is usually a good cruising speed, not too scary. And a lot of cities actually, or countries, limit you to 20 miles per hour. And so it went 11 and a half miles on a single charge using these batteries. I will say in those 11 and a half miles, the handling is not the best. You know, this is a lot of weight sitting on the back here, plus the hub being in the back. And I had a lot of complaints, people talking about the rack, hey, that's, you, you're, you made a, a soft tail into a hard tail because I'm mounting it right here. And that's true, I, I won't deny that. But I just want to show you though, when I push down on it, it actually still has quite a bit of give, and that's because it still, it still pivots right here and here. But I will say it's not the best. Uh, if you really want to do it right, um, these arms, if you could bend them down all the way to here, that'd be best. But really, just buying a different rack is probably your best solution. So that's one thing I would change about this build. And so a $30 rack would, would fix that. You want one that mounts to the seat post. But if the seat post isn't strong enough, then you're going to want little arms like this attached as well. Uh, another question I get is, how often do I use this bike? And uh, I'll say, not much. And, and that's why I went with these batteries, uh, because I might use it maybe once every two or three weeks, you know, just to kind of show friends. It was a lot of fun building, but I don't use it much because I just don't live in an area where I can use it much. Um, I don't, I, when I want to exercise, I don't use this, <laughs> you know? So if I was going to use this as a daily driver, then I would not use uh, SLA batteries. I would go ahead and get the lithium ion batteries. You can check the description to see if I have some listed there. Um, but they're gonna have better range, they're gonna be lighter, and they're gonna last longer. And they're probably gonna charge faster than this setup as well. So um, if you're serious about it, then go ahead and get lithium ion if you think you're really gonna use it every day. Uh, but this is a great option for just to see if it works. Um, I really thought about lithium for a while. Everyone recommended it. But uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Uh, and that's because I just use this so infrequently that this is just fine. But if you know you're gonna use it more than like, you know, once every three weeks, go ahead and invest in lithium ion. All right, so the question I get is, how do I charge it? When I first bought it, I just had a simple 12 volt charger hooked up to one battery. And that was just the easiest way to charge it. Um, if you wanted to charge, use this charger and charge multiples, like I do with my kids' power wheels, you would just simply, there's negative to negative, positive to positive. Oop. And now I'm charging in parallel. So I can charge two batteries at once, but it does take a long time because it's still only using 12 volts. Ideally, what you would do is have these all hooked up in a series, right? Like we did for our bike, and then just charge it with a 48 volt charger. This would be the fastest way to charge it. Just leave it the way it is but make sure you have a 48 volt charger. This will not work. You'll burn up the charger or worse. So do it like this. Just buy the 48 volt charger, it's in the description. And probably the last question uh, that I get is, did I use Content Cops music? I don't even know who this guy is, but I looked him up and uh, it is the same music, but I didn't take it from him. It's actually in the YouTube uh, music library. It's free for anybody to use. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the last video, and also check in the description for any other problems or updates that I might have. Thanks for watching. Why? Why are you in here? You're never in here.